All right, this tutorial video is just going to quickly go through how to do a curvilinear regression in Excel. So we're going to go through the example in the course packet using the Procter & Gamble data there. And you can see we've got our year values here that we've recoded and, uh, with this time variable. It's going to be our X variable. And we've got our Y output, the net earnings, YT in millions. So the first way that we can really quickly and easily do this is just using Excel's plotting a trend line function. So we've created a little graph here of our time versus net earnings. And you can see it has this sort of general curvilinear slope. So we're going to click on the actual one of those data points. I'm going to right click, click add trend line, go down to polynomial because we want it to order two. In, the, in this example we did it quadratic so it's order two. And we're going to say display equation on chart. And there we go, it gives us our curvilinear equation. Quite, and sim quite easy and simple. There's also another way that we can actually perform the regression using the data analysis tool pack. So let's go back to our raw data, insert another column, we're going to call this t squared, and we're just going to square our x variables. Alright, let's copy down that formula. Okay, and now let's perform the regression. So we go over to data, data analysis, click regression, OK. Our input Y range is our net earnings in millions. We're going to include labels so we know what's going on. Our input X range is going to be both our time and time squared. And we're going to make sure we've clicked include labels because we have included labels. Output range we want to be 820. And there we go. And now if we click OK, you can see it gives us our regression. There's our intercept. There's our x or our t coefficient and there's our t squared coefficient and you can see it gives us the same equation that our trend line gives us over here.